Hey guys, this is PE Tips from Bat Marketing, and um, this video might seem a little off, to off topic, but because things are moving so quickly, I felt like it couldn't wait. Now, for my normal guys, uh, I, I the reason I'm doing this video is um, I know it's it's hard to pursue um, male enhancement, working out, pursuing women, building wealth obtaining spirituality when you are getting financially crushed every three to five years okay I, I understand this I feel this dread I know this pain okay I know it better than most so I I I think this is a very important subject and like I said I know it's a little off topic from what this channel usually discusses but I think the timing because of the timing and the situation we're in it just can't wait um, to any new viewer that is that stumbles upon this video um, this channel is mainly about male enhancement and building an alternative lifestyle and unfortunately being financially stable and not getting crushed every three to five years is alternative okay um, most people dream about not being crushed financially every three and five years you hear people complain about it you hear people talk about it they think of solutions but very 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 few people actually do anything to um, not get crushed in the financial situation that we were in so this channel being a little bit about lifestyle too I thought this video was extraordinarily important so um, I want to present the problem as I understand it okay I am not an economic I'm not an economist I'm not a financial financial advisor I am just a regular dude who goes to other people smarter than him for advice on this subject and after listening to a couple of them this is the conclusion I've come to and this is the battle plan I have over the next year to help fight against this problem so here's the problem guys um, over the last for a long time but since 2008 the Fed, the Federal Reserve in the U.S. has been printing a bunch of money and keeping interest rates low. Okay, now this took uh, about a decade and a half to finally come full circle, but inflation has been just destroying um, the U.S. household income. Okay, just people are struggling; they are suffering. Um, some people have to take two or even a third job to keep up with expenses. It's just crushing. Okay, it's just crushing people and it is unfortunate. Um, and there's a very good lesson to learn in this, guys. There's a very good lesson to learn in this. Um, and the lesson is this, guys. The Fed probably could have um, stopped this from occurring or lessened it, I should say. They probably could have lessened the effect of inflation had they acted sooner. Had they killed this while inflation while it was in the crib, they probably could have stopped what is occurring now but they didn't they let the inflation dragon get full size it's now an adult it's a fucking hydra and i got news for you guys it is kicking the feds ass okay it is kicking their ass okay yeah they've gotten inflation to come down a little bit but guess what happened the banks are crashing um they they uh, inflation is sticking at the st the low six percent meaning getting it to the two percent that they want is going to be ugly okay guys I don't think they're gonna do it um, Peter Schiff who I listen to doesn't think they're gonna do it he thinks it's I don't know where it's gonna end up at but it ain't gonna end up at two percent okay it, it's just kicking their ass so what this however because the banks are crashing um, this puts the Fed in a very bad position guys okay now like I said this is how I understand it and right now, uh, the stock market, from my understanding, is betting that the Fed will cut interest rates sometime this year. They're going to pivot, in other words. They're going to go. Um, they're going to stop fighting inflation hardcore sometime this year. The Fed is saying no. They're not going to do that this year, and that they're going to probably raise interest rates one more time, and that they're going to keep it there for the rest of the year. So what the Fed says they're going to do, and what the market thinks they're going to do, of not are not coming together there's a gap okay so one or two things will happen either the Fed will stick to the word and they don't pivot this year which is in that case the mark the stock market might crash from this might crash from this okay I'm not saying it will crash it just I'm saying it might crash if the Fed sticks to its word 
or the Fed will pivot and inflation won't be slain. The inflation dragon will be fucking around, still kicking our ass, um, and it won't be good to be the average American, okay? So that's really where the two are going to be at. Um, even if they try to do something that makes everyone happy, uh, someone they'll probably be stagflation. That's when we're in a recession with high inflation. It's still not a good time to be. Still not a good time, guys. So now I watch uh, Clear va Clear Tax Value, um, and he he uh, he gave this advice. He, he didn't. He just kind of threw it off the cuff. But I'm I'm gonna take it and run with it, guys. And his advice is this: start. Start saving cash up. Start saving cash up and start buying silver. Okay, those two things. Um, and I'm gonna explain why. The reason you want cash um, is if the stock market crashes. If it does that, if 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 the stocks really go down in price, this would be a good time to buy. Okay, if if the Fed goes against the market and the market, this, what the value of stocks just plummet right through the floor. And hit rock bottom. This would be a good time to buy. Okay. If the pet pivot flip pivots, though, guys, and inflation skyrockets, you'll have the silver to hedge against it. Okay, you'll have the silver to hedge against it. So, what you're trying to do, guys, is you're trying to um, take extra money you have that you're not going to put in the stock market that you kind of want around. And put it into something that's inflation proof. And then with the money you are saving, you, you eventually want to buy stocks if the stock market crashes. Okay, that's that's basically the advice I have come to understand it. And that is what I am basing my battle plan around. Okay, so um, this is my battle plan. 25% um, of my income will go into cash savings. Okay, so... I have a savings account. I'm just going to keep every every check. I'm just going to keep throwing the 25% in there and keep building that thing up, um, on on not the hope, but on the on the idea that the stock market might crash. If it doesn't crash, I can take that extra income and put it into other things. Okay, guys, I can put it into silver, gold. If if it doesn't, and then I'm going to take 10% of my income, guys, and I'm going to start buying silver. I'm actually looking into how to buy silver, where to store the silver, what to do with the silver, when I need to get rid of it. I'm, I'm researching that this week, okay? So that is my battle plan for 2023 um, going forward. Um, and it's going to be tight, guys, this year. I had other financial plans, but like I said, I, I did not... I, I knew they were going to raise interest rates this year. I didn't know the banks were going to start collapsing. And this adds new element to what I, what I had plan for originally at the beginning of the year of things playing out. Originally I was just going to save cash um, and get myself positioned really good in 2024, but I don't know how the timing is going to work now, now that this new development has occurred. Okay, So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep records of this guys. I'm going to keep track of this guys. I'm going to let you guys know how this plays out for me. This is my battle plan. I am not saying you should do this battle plan. Um, I I'm suggesting it I also suggest you do your own research, you look into your own guys, you talk to your own financial advisor, hear what they have to say. Do not take the word of somebody on the internet as blind gospel. Okay, guys, really do your homework on this. Uh, but that is my battle plan, that is what I'm going to do. That is, I'm going to, like I said, keep track of this, and I'll let you guys know how it plays out over the year. Um, but like I said, right now, inflation is kicking the Americans' ass, and I don't think they're going to slay this dragon. And I think they're going to pause. At the very least, I think they're going to pause. Um, and I'm not sure what that's... I just... I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I don't know what the Fed's going to do. If the Fed raises it... They said they're going to raise it another quarter... A quarter... 25 basis points again. Um, this... This is what they said they're going to do. And then they're going to pause. They might do that. Um... And then raise it again later this year. I, I just don't know. Or maybe they cut. Maybe the stock market's right and they start cutting interest rates this year. I don't know what they're going to do. It's very hard. It's very hard to see what they're going to do. But I am going to act accordingly to what I know currently. Okay, and this is my current battle plan. And like I said, guys, I know this little, this video is a little outside of the scope of what we usually talk about on this channel. But I I, I don't think I think time is of the essence. I, I don't want to be caught flat-footed 
and then, you know, have other problems in my life. And I know you guys don't want other problems in your life, too. So, like I said, a little bit outside the scope of this channel, but I think this is a very important topic. I'd really look into this. Um, anyone who's not in the U.S., I, I don't know, like, I don't know the other country's financial situation. I only know ours, but I'm, I know they're all interlinked. So, um, again, check out your own guys. Speak to your own advisors. But this is the bail plan I'm taking, and I would suggest you you do something similar along these lines as well okay guys i will see you guys to them all for another pe tip and we will get back to our regular programming later